All right, what's up guys? So today we're gonna be showing off the multi-sling. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So here we have the multi-sling. This was added to the game like three or two weeks ago on like the 30th of September. Yeah, two and a half weeks ago, three and weeks, weeks ago. Three weeks ago, yeah. Uh, in an alpha, it was it in the main update or the alpha update? I'm pretty sure it was the alpha update, right? Uh, I mean, it's part of the main update that came out on the 30th but like it was it was on it was in the alpha before the 30th so i mean if you were playing on the alpha you would have already had this beforehand yeah anyways so to craft it you need the hardwood you need rubber and you need iron and you need to be in a vehicle workshop or just i think it's just called a workshop right now it's the it's the machine shop machine. but you also need you also do need to get a blueprint to actually be able to access it which is only through quests from the researcher, the warrior, or the fisher. Oh yeah, I remember we had to go through that whole ordeal to get the thing. Yeah, that yeah I still never weird. found one. It was actually one of the people on your Discord that found one for me. Mm. Anyways, so uh, if we just place it down here, that's the wrong one. That's the chain restraint. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> here we go, the multi sling. There you go. Right? Multi sling. Uh, when you press E on it, you can see, you can choose. The interval of time when you want it to shoot, right? Um, yeah, and it goes all the way up to 300 seconds. 300, so if I go 300, I try to press more. Okay, go more, okay. And I'm assuming yeah. the lowest is five seconds, okay. But yeah, lowest is five. You can just put basically anything in here, right? Its main use is like seeds and, um, and like, and uh, throw arrows. Bolts, like grenades, arrows, grenades, seeds. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you could put, um, these things, uh, monster prisms. Yeah, you can. You put monster prisms in here. Now we have a, we have a dragon down here. This might have been a bad idea. Um, <laughs> you might want to try to take that back. <laughs> you can uh, you can like, shoot hey, I'll, and stuff. I'll catch it. And we'll on. be sh we'll be showing um some examples of that in in the video where we use it for seeds and for uh, arrows right over here. But uh, I also want to show the grenades that you can put in here. Can you put your pet ball in here? No, you can't. Okay. Can you put grenade the grenades? Where are my grenades? Here are my grenades. But we sit here and wait. It actually doesn't throw them. What the heck? Oh, so it did. Oh, there it goes. It, so it's it's throwing it out. It's not actually like throwing oh, it. Oh, I thought I detonated out. them. Anyways, moving on. You can throw a lot of things at this thing. Um, I'm pretty sure the only ones that activate are seeds and arrows, though, right? And I guess the monster prisms. Seeds, uh, arrows. It, I I haven't tested everything, so I don't know exactly all the things. All right, but cool. it it did it did say in the description that uh it doesn't work with some things. So I I don't know what all that is and isn't right now. So but. we have this setup here, or he has this setup here, um, where there's venomous arrows inside of these multi slings. Uh, they're going on a timer and an interval of five seconds and yeah. basically this is supposed to be an auto griffin farm um because those are pretty useful for some certain things and like certain quests especially if they're high level so do you want to demonstrate if you come over here yeah so you do you do have to to keep the griffin from aggroing to you uh you actually do have to be in this hallway um, otherwise, it'll aggro to you and just destroy the whole setup. But if it, if it's not aggro to you, it literally just sits there and takes it. So yeah. I will show you now. Spawn the Griffin. There he goes. And if you want the XP for it, you actually do have to shoot it from with your bow from over here. Yeah. So if I shoot it from over here, and I get the XP for it as well. But as you can see, he's taking a lot of damage from the. Uh... The yeah, so, the so basically what the conveyor belts are pushing him into the wall over there. He's not doing anything because he's not aggro to us. And the multi-slings are set up to where they're aiming directly at where he's the conveyor belts are pushing him to. And so they just keep shooting him with arrows every five seconds. And you can actually set up, set this up with more multi-slings so he dies faster. I just, I only set it up with two for now, but... Uh, he's dead. There it is. He's dead. And then the chests are there just to suck up all the all the the goodies mm. and uh so that's like that's like the practical uses for like weaponizing them you know um 
yeah. pretty good. You can make like a whole entire firing squad and stuff. You can probably make a couple fun mini games with this, to be honest, where people have to dodge the arrows or something like that. But uh, now we're <laughs> gonna show you guys a practical use for like farming and stuff like that for auto farms. So uh, yeah, let's go over there. All right, so this is a, a way to practically use it when farming. Um, he has this. Why is it not cutting? He, anyways, he has these uh, sugarcane seeds in here, and they're on a timer of 130 seconds, is what he recommends. What Mr. John here recommends for when you're farming things. Yeah. Only these rotational saws would cut the, the stuff. Uh, there's not anything in it right now. Oh, for real? On my screen, there is. Oh, well, there's uh, not on my screen. The game's a bit buggy. So... But, uh. Yeah. Basically, well, they'll, we just shoot out, they'll just shoot out seeds in here. I'll do this as an example. I'll put, I'll put these seeds in here. I'll put it like to five seconds. Oh, wait, I forgot you can't plant those seeds there. I'll put a peach seed in here. But yeah, so it'll do, it'll do that. It'll shoot it out, and then it'll go into the, as if as if you're just throwing it. Like it'll be as if you're just throwing it. Um, yeah. And this is like really good just for automating things. Um, eventually, when you can put absorbers or droppers on seed extractors, it'll be like really good, because um, then you could fully automate any type of seed farm. But uh, until then, you do have to manually load it into these, which is kind of annoying. But since you can, you can fit like 1,200 seeds up in, in there, so it's actually not that bad. Um, yeah, so it'll it'll last a while, but yeah. It, it's yeah, it's still kind of annoying that you have to come check it every now and then. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the multi sling. Well, and these so these fans just so just so you guys know what's what it's actually doing here. The fans are blowing it down to the conveyor belt so that you can the it can move them uh, to whatever like so like if you know for instance th this is eventually going to be my bioplastic farm, which is why I have sugar cane going. Um, so the the this it will it will blow the sugar cane down there. And then the conveyor belts will take it over to where it needs to go for the bioplastic. I need a saltpeter farm to go with it, but um, but that's how that's how you you know. I mean, if you wanted to like automate certain foods or whatever, you know, that need ingredients, like you can set up a bunch of these and have them all go to the same conveyor belt and have you know just have it make food for you or uh, just. A bunch of different things you can do with it, and uh, and also there's there's virtual walls here keeping this thing in. I don't know if you guys saw the virtual walls. That's also something that's new, so uh, you can actually walk through them, but this little guy can't. So, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, that's all for today, and see you guys next time.